Hi, I'm Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a September goal update and uh, my goals for the month of October. For the month of September, I wanted to find a balance between, um, you know, being healthy and listening to my body and also not feeling like I was pushing myself too hard or feeling like I was a failure. And I think that I really did that. Um, the list of things that I put down for my September goals were find a balance. The things that I put down for find a balance were to be kind to myself, eat well, and move my body more. And I definitely feel like I achieved that. Um, I have been slowly getting back into tracking my calories and getting outdoors more. Uh, the month of August, I just really was hard on myself and felt like if I wasn't doing like everything that I was doing nothing and like I was just this huge failure so um, I wanted to to take September to try to you know tell myself that it doesn't have to be like that I don't have to be on um, one extreme or the other I can find a balance in the middle and I have I feel like I've definitely been able to do that I've lost a little bit of weight in the month of September and I just want to keep going forward with that. The other items that were on the list were also in the find the balance theme, um, but for emotionally, which were show love to John, go back to church, and spend more time with family. Um, now when I say show love to John, I just mean that, you know, we've been together for four years now, we've been married for almost two years, and we've gotten to that point where we're really comfortable with each other and we just kind of let the day-to-day -day routine um, take over and it's just, you know, get up, go to work, do your chores, come home, eat dinner, watch TV, go to bed. And I think most couples are guilty of doing that where you just let the routine get in the way and you kind of forget, um, you know, how you used to be in the beginning. And I know that you can't, I know there's nothing wrong with being in that comfortable space and I'm glad that we found that comfortable space with each other. Um, but I just wanted to make a conscious effort to make sure Jonathan knew, um, you know, every day, how much I loved him and to really show him my love um, because you know everyone's love language is different and I have to make sure that um, and it's important to me that I'm continuing to work on our relationship. Spending more time with family I, I feel like I spent a lot of time with my family this month and that makes me so happy. Um, it sucks that we're like an hour and a half away from each other uh, but I've tried to to take it, you know, to make an effort to be there for the functions, um, the ones that I can, you know, can go to, and you know, go just coming, just going into town sometimes to hang out with my cousin and stuff like that. Um, as far as go back to church, not quite there on that one yet. <laughs> some days are just not to make a million excuses, but some days are just really hard. Um, to get up and out of bed on time to go to church. It's the only day that Jonathan and I have to like sleep in together and relax in the mornings because he does work Monday through Saturday. And so, you know, getting home from whatever activities we do on Saturday night um, and getting to bed at a decent hour and then, you know, getting up and going to church is difficult. So, um, but it is something that I want to work on for the month of October is on the list. I definitely believe in writing down your goals um, either monthly, weekly, or daily, however it works best for you, and have it be a visual reminder to you of what you want to achieve, um, you know, for, you know, your month, week, or day. And so I have wrote down, again, my goals for the month of October, and they are to, to save money. We are in the process of trying to get qualified to buy a home, and we definitely need to work on um, not splurging so much and only buying things that are like necessities. Um, once we have our own home, we'll be responsible for all the maintenance, so we need to make sure that we start um, a savings account specifically for the house. Next three are to keep moving, eat well, and continue to be kind to myself. Those fall in line with the um, you know, the whole thing of being healthy and feeling good in my body, um, and I'm still, that is something that I'm still actively seeking. And the last two are keep showing love to John and church, and we've already talked about why those reasons are important to me. Those are my goals for the month of October. Let me know down below what your goals are for the month of October. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you next time. Bye!